expression in college and the fuel the power is confident. And verse 5 it says, when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, withdraw first in your grandmother Lois. And your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded, is in you also. Whoa! Look at Apostle Paul. He talks about the good things, not the bad things. Timothy's faith was completely genuine, sincere, without pretense or deceit. He served the Lord, hallelujah, genuine, the genuine faith. Paul called to remembrance the faith that was in Timothy. He even described that faith as a genuine faith. Not a bogus faith. It's a genuine, clear, and powerful faith. Paul continued to describe the spiritual heritage that they would be received. He mentioned about his grandmother, Lord. He mentioned about his mother, Eunice. They're probably the one who is sponsor the Bible study in their area, in their city. They're probably the one, hallelujah, who do a lot of things to have this revival in their place. We have to have that desire to say the good part, not the bad part. The grandmother, the mother, he saw all of these things. And his mother and grandmother saw it in the life of people. And Paul saw it before his heart, the impact of what grandmother and mother did to his child. Let me address to all the parents today. Be careful on what you are saying and doing in front of your children. Don't criticize someone when you are driving together with your children to the park. Why? Because when your children hear it, guess what? They look at those people the way they say it. And they will be affected. Don't tell anything that will ruin the faith of your children. Because your job is to promote, mm -hmm. increase, yes. is tear up, uh -huh. to rekindle mm -hmm. the power in the life of your children. This is our job. Amen. If you have some negative things about me, don't mention it in front of your children. Mm. Because they might look at me the way you're saying it. Mm. Amen. Yes. If you have some negative issue against me, let's talk about it. Hallelujah. Because you may be harboring something that I don't know. And when I found out, many people know already. Another thing. Don't spread any rumor about the minister when you are not sure. Hmm. Amen. Because that will boomerang to you. Uh -huh. You will be the one that will get it. Be careful to the things that you are saying. Because our job is to encourage. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to encourage one another. Paul commends his family for the great influence they had 
continually. They pass their faith on to Timothy. Look at this. This is our job. Like the grandmother Lois and the mother Eunice, the, what they did is this. They pass that kind of faith that Timothy right now in this scripture powerfully sharing to them. Mm -hmm. Be careful who around you. Mm. Before you say any negative word to our Be careful. Make sure people know how to understand. People who are old enough spiritually to balance them. You have to be careful. The word persuaded here means thoroughly convinced. And Paul was telling to Timothy, I am totally convinced that the faith of your grandmother and your mother is manifesting in your life. Mm. Or in short, your grandmother and your mother's anointing is right there. Hallelujah. Yes. Anointing. A special anointing. I was just listening to a series of teaching not too long ago. And part of that conference The father who pioneered the church. And he's been a pastor for 17 years. It so happened that the father has a cancer. So he's been in the hospital for several months, on and off. He was thinking to pass the torch, the baton, to another person. Because he is physically weak now. He's been to a chemotherapy, radiation, all name it. He's been there. And he asked the Lord to guide him. And his son has been a youth pastor for many years already. Until one day, he was sitting down listening to his son preach. If you will listen to his dad, his dad is a very soft 